Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. All right, then, uh, Neil, somebody you know very, very well in the final shirt up there. Um, Big Emmy Martinez. Talk to me about this guy. Um, It's difficult, obviously, because I've worked with him for a long time. I know all his attributes. I know what he's about. Um, Just an unbelievable work ethic, a desire to achieve, a desire to win. Just like goes above and beyond. Like he's just ruthless in everything he does. He just wants more, more, more. Just more. I think because he's... He is like a thirty-year-old, twenty-two, like a twenty-year-old, thirty-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Group, But he's like not play games. Yeah. So he's not played games. So now all of a sudden he's thrust into the Premier League, playing week in, week out. He's playing for Argentina. Yeah. So he's learning on his feet constantly, but he loves it and he do, wants more do, of does it. Does that mean then you would think that he's got more, so many more miles left in the tank that we still haven't probably even seen the best of Emmy Martinez right. yet? Because think emotionally what he's going through now. Right? Yeah. So he gets his, he's he's obviously had. Such an up and down upbringing in the game. Like he's gone on loans. Some loans haven't worked. Some have worked. He's been told he's going to be number one for Arsenal, and he's not, and it's not worked out. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's coming into Aston Villa, and he's just every every other week. It's, it's, it's new to him. Yeah. Like he, he wins a Copa America. It's like oh my god, it's Argentina, and he's like it's the best thing ever. Like then like another season, and he's got another season at Villa trying to replicate the first season, which he did amazingly well. And then you win the World Cup, oh. and it's like. Oh. Literally, like it's like everything because they're so passionate, aren't they? Yeah, South they are, Americans, yeah. Argentinians oh. in particular. Well, like that is this world. That's one like, of the biggest that things everything. that could possibly happen Ever. to an Argentinian, isn't so, it? So imagine, like he's learning on his feet again. So then he has to win the World Cup and then go back to the Premier League. Like nothing's happened. Like yeah, that's so difficult. You that called it. I remember you came on the football fill in and we did a little some little predictions, and you said um, you called. Argentina to win the World Cup. Yeah, um, yeah you Tell did, us a little yeah. bit, because you had a little trip out there, didn't you? Yeah, I went you? to Miami. I think it was the last camp before the World Cup and their togetherness and what they created as a group. You know, like the music's playing, the really, singing, yeah. the dancing, that togetherness was huge and you could feel it. Yeah, You could actually feel like they go out training and they're having a laugh and a joke, but when training starts, like, boom. like On it. On it. Wow. On it. And were you there just kind of watching and observing what what were you out there yeah i was there like to meet the goalie coach who's who's a really good guy to be fair um martin tocoli i think his Mm. name is very good very detailed just to really for the build-up for the world cup what he thought about emmy where he needed to be and what i thought and our views were very similar worked really well so i just invited over really to have that you know that discussion and to see where he has and, and basically what he does when he's in that group and how he reacts in that group and you know like yeah, yeah. how he holds himself and he's like he held himself differently did for he? Argentina than he did for Villa like really? you see how, like what he proud like you could see him like here I am now yeah came back to Villa and was a bit frustrated yeah like didn't like well, it was like it, kind of the high of the World Cup, the emotion of the, of being with Argentina. It's it's almost like a step down coming it, to the Premier every League. Every time he went with Argentina and come back to Villa, it was like kind of you have to kind of get him back up again because really? like, he gets frustrated with like other people. Yeah, yeah. And just getting just the focus was to get him to concentrate on himself and himself. Just that was it. Nobody else. Deal with yourself because he's trying to help out too he's much. Trying to he's trying too to help, much. tell everybody what yeah. to do and help them and put yeah, them in yeah. the right positions. Yeah. Because he, he's that kind of person. Yeah. You know, like he's trying to like get everybody. Going and get everybody right. How, how how good is that detail, right? That Argentina and Emmy Martinez and the goalie coach have gone right. So let's get your goalie coach from England, from Aston Villa, to come over and we can all sit down in a room and we can talk about the best way to attack this World Cup. In that detail. is that is yeah. the tiny details that people just that people don't see that. People don't understand the the amount of work and that goes and into it's a that. Far cry from look at England over the years where that relationship with the England national team has been one manager saying don't play him in the League Cup and then the, you know yeah, that that yeah, kind yeah. of relationship so to have that cohesiveness between we even spoke about penalties as well like really? he went to that detail where he was stepping um, linear to go lateral like step forward to go sidewards yeah. instead of just diving just stepping sidewards and it's something that we could then work on what because it slows his uh, how, how far power, how much can, he can you cover you can't get power off your leading leg if it's going to go forward to go sideways yeah, okay. can you so yeah. it's got to be that yeah, step yeah. sideways to dive sideways you've got to get that little step to go yeah, and you yeah. can't and you watch now right the amount of goalies that step their initial first step is forwards to then push sideways and they're actually trying to power over their leg when it's too far away it's too far forward 
Yeah. And it's like a trait that a lot of goalies have. And it cuts down the time as well. But so all you've got to do is get from there to there as quickly as you why possibly can. Why do they advance off the line? Why do they advance off the line? Because I watch football and I'll, I'll think to myself, one, why are you doing it? Because with the technology now, yeah. it's probably going to be pulled back. Yeah. And yeah, for that exact reason, surely you'd be better exploding either side. This is a thing, right? So you want you've, you've, your first step has to be slightly forward because you can't get power just sideways, can you? And you can't get it too far forward. So it's got to be that happy medium. And you, if you dive too far forward, the power, the pace is going to beat you in it. Yeah. So you've basically got to get the the, the optimal optimum step, like that that step has got to be. Sort of Slightly diagonal. Slightly in front. Yeah, sort of like what, 20 degrees or something. A 20 degree angle or something. Think biomechanically, you've got to get your body weight over that leg as quickly as you possibly can and get a push like that. So if it's too far forward, you're not going to get your body weight over and you're not going to be able to push. So it's like the speed and what you've got to dip and dive is, is, is so quick. So quick. When you were watching those penalties in that World Cup final, did you know how that final, was, the, the penalty shooter was going to play out? I obviously knew that he would save some. Yeah. Because he always does, because yeah. of what he is and what he brings, and he's and he's like, if you watch him, if you see the difference between a Loris and a Martinez, yeah. who do you think is going to save a penalty? Yeah, exactly that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And that's character, and that's yeah. personality, and that's another thing that we delved into really, really deeply was is how he holds himself on the pitch, uh-huh. his his personality. Whereas, and this was when he came back from Argentina quite a bit, he'd come back and he'd be within himself, and he'd be like frustrated with everybody. It's like, no, 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 no. You've got to bring your personality, your leadership skills, your experiences to the pitch. Show people what you're about. Don't yeah. go inwards. Stay outwards. Especially for a team like Villa where yeah. they it, need everybody that's show, got that to show like, it. He cares so much, yeah. but he, he, he let that go in. Instead really? of care so much and show people you care. Wow. On the pitch, show people you care. And that was like kind of bring your personality to the pitch. So when then that kind of went over to the penalty bit, you know, bring your personality to the penalties. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't, don't just stand there. What are you going to bring? What are you going to bring that's different? When I saw them, when I saw the goalies lining up and they're standing up in the goal, I just knew that Argentina yeah. were going to win that he's penalty like shootout. A, he's like a, an, a caged animal. Oh, he's a big man, a big, hairy, angry man, isn't yeah. he? He's like, a big dude, isn't he? He's a big but not dude, just that, mate. Though, he, you can see how much that means to him. Yeah. It means everything. And he will do anything it possibly takes to keep that ball on net. Yeah. And he's just like. You see it in his eyes. He's like, "What did he say?" The celebrations were like afterwards, bonkers, mental, completely mental. There's people jumping off. I like, know. I saw it. Yeah, get on, I saw uh, it. Mental, completely mental. Good session. Yeah. Oh, oh, I would have thought it would have been. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free. 